Good evening, welcome to Auction Not Included Adventures. That pause is part of the intro, just so you guys know. <laughs> uh, so I want to open this up with a little bit of a question. We have 28 people, 28 dupes. Uh, we have another one coming here like in less than probably two minutes. Uh, and we're going to be at 20, we're going to be at 30 by the end of this episode. Like comfortably at 30, uh, now that we have food being pumped out here. Um, what happens? And, and, and oh yeah, so the problem is that we have people that are constantly. If we, if I uh, don't keep them busy, they're gonna crowd areas that are like like food, for example. They're gonna crowd food areas, and they're gonna end up spoiling food because they're bored. Um, so what happens when we end up basically grinding everything that we could possibly grind? <laughs> like I was thinking about this. It's like, well, what happens if we end up, you know, coring out so much that it's like pointless to even try to core out anything else? Right? Like, then what? Then my, are my characters just coming in bored? Like, forever? I don't know. Like, it's just, like, the question, the question is basically, you know, like, what do I do if I have, like, 40 dupes, and every time I tell them to do something, they get it done so quickly, and then they end up coming back and crowding food areas? Uh, like, what's the solution there? I don't know. I don't know what the solution is. Maybe we stop being dicks, and, you know, if we have 40 people, think about it. If we have 40 people, we can have, like, you know, 20 uh, of these things going. Right now, we only have 12. We have 20 of these things going. We can extend the battery, uh, make another battery pack uh, somewhere else, uh, and then we can just basically put a bunch of fridges in here, and then we won't have to worry about, you know, the air issue. Right? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I don't even have to ask the question right. Yes, that, that is that is total, totally possible. Um, I just think it's, 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 it's interesting. Like, the more people we add, the more and unique issues we run across. You have so many people that you can't possibly keep them busy long enough to, to you know, get anything else done. It's crazy to me. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, we'll dig out as far as we can here. Which they won't be able to reach that, but that's fine. Actually, if I do, uh, if I leave this and this, and then do this and this, they could probably reach those, and they'll just drop down here and they'll pick it up. Perfect. Actually, all this is, like, useless. That's useless. And then, yep, good. All right, here's, here's our next one, though. This one's going to be <laughs> Big Pink Willy. God damn. Are you guys just making up names and shit now? Let's see. Big Pink Willy. I need a cook. I need a cook. I need a cook. Don't have a cook. No cooks. No cooks? Really? No cooks? All right. Well, let's get a uh, Gastrophobia Iron Gut Architect. Okay, sure. This is you, Big Pink Willy. Big Pink Willy. <laughs> Wait, did I spell this right? Is this just, yeah, that's 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 it right there. Big Pink Willy. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> oh God. All right, mush bar is being done. They're frying it up. Look at this. Okay, I should just set this thing to um, mush bar, fried mush bar, and then this one also to fried mush bar. I wonder if they incorporate the mechanics and don't start whenever you go to cook something. If you say if you have two ingredients that are stale and you cook. Uh, a meal out of it, you will create, you know, less efficient food or like food that is not quite, uh, you know, if it's not made from fresh, then it's going to be, a, I don't know what the qualification for the food is, like if it's classified as stale or what, but um, yeah, I wonder, I just wonder like if, uh, if we leave food on the floor like this um, and they fry it up, will they, hmm, like will that, will that fried mush bar made out of stale mush bars? <laughs> <laughs> Will that be like bad? Like not like not as many kilocalories? I don't know. I think I'm overthinking it. But you never know in this game. You just never know. Let's see. Oh, it's already bedtime. Wow, that was fast. Are they? How are they doing? Wow, they're they're just they're so fast. They're so fast with getting shit done. I mean, like I want to get this done now. All right. And they'll be like, sure, no problem. No problem, boss. That's it. It's done. See, we can go ahead and take out these a little bit at a time here. Actually, we could take out these two easy and then just do do. And then uh, these two easy. Oh, and then do. Done. Uh, we have a ladder going up to the, to the sky here. Might as well go ahead and extend that out a little bit farther. I think we're making it out of igneous rock, right? Yeah, because we have a lot of that. There we go. Got some uh, hydrogen pulling up there. A good concentration. None right here now because it's all going on up. Um, actually, is that the concentration of all the hydrogen that we had in this little bubble that we popped? Probably. I don't even recognize half a zero now. Um, let's see. We should probably pop this and get this stuff out too. 
honestly. I could do that just by putting a ladder here. And then doing this. That'll get this hydrogen out of this pocket here. It's a decent amount. Power's good. Everything looks good. 164,000 kilocalories. I think after today, we'll be able to see, because we got a good harvest going, an okay harvest going, uh, we'll be able to see roughly where we stand in terms of food generation. Right now, the reports say what it's calculating at. Yeah, we're right now we're calculating more food than what we're, where we're consuming. Uh, so that's good. That's really good. At 29 people, we're we're <laughs> we're we're actually on the on the up uptick here. I do worry though how much water these guys are using. Granted, we we have water everywhere. So much water. Uh, actually, we can actually see how much water we have. A lot. Incredible amount, and so much phosphorus too. Uh. But uh, yeah, damn. And they know where to find it, so it's like it's not even like I don't have to worry about it. Uh, here, let's do this. I see that this is starting to pull right here. Maybe we could just do, uh, do, do, mm, mm. and they can reach that and just kind of cut all that out. Trench stench, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, because all of this is gonna continue to pull, and they'll be able to reach it. Like you know, they'll come down here to get water off the ground, like right here, if they need to. So I'm not even worried about this anymore. Ah, this is going to continue to build up. It's going to be so funny when that collapses. Oh, we're not pumping from this, huh? Why is that not pumping? Oh, it's backed up. We actually don't have <laughs> enough, uh, enough throughput on this. Which, actually, no. We've, we have, we, it's been a while since we've not had enough throughput on this. Um, I could actually create a system to, um, to better the flow of uh, cold air. I could probably do that. Just basically redirect this, move all these over here. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Move all the, move all these over here on this side, and basically, mm, we can expand the room a little bit. Nah, nah, nah. What do I do like that? Let's wait and see how long it takes for them to to get through that water, and then we'll decide what we want to do from here. I tell you what, though, we're gonna have like one frame per second by the time we get up there. <laughs> it's gonna be so bad. Uh, significant amount of algae because we're farming it. Um, yeah, good. Wait, no, we're not farming algae. Did we just like... No, these guys aren't even really working. Oh, maybe we are. I guess we are picking up a little bit of algae here and there. Oh, we did farm up a bunch of algae. That's right. And we got to remember, too, that algae is a lot per block. Like a lot of sustainability per block, so... That makes sense. All oh, this chlorine this is just bad. Contaminate oxygen. This guy's gotta die. Hold on, hold on. You dead. Uh, I could just sweep it, right? I think it's, oh no, it's exit. No, sweep it. There you go. All of them combat. Oh god! This guy is fucked! 18 people! <laughs> he didn't stand a chance! <laughs> that was beautiful. Oh, let's see. We can go ahead and get all these and uh, this and this. And uh, that can actually reach everything else too, so. It's just this stuff right here. I want to make sure they can reach. They can. Totally. And then we'll get the rest. They reach the. This is the one. Yeah, this is the one over here that might not be able to reach unless they stand here. Yeah, they can reach that from there. What are they doing? Are they probably eating? Running, eating, cooking. Okay, well, they're doing work, so. Let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and get some people on the tables here. White D. Oh, well, White D is the one that's the most stressed. What is he doing? White D. White D. Bam. And then everybody else is actually pretty much okay. Rock Roo. So, for a long time, I wasn't uh, setting this to uh, uh, sort by name because I didn't really need to. Like, by the time I got done sorting my name, uh, I already found I already have found the person I need, but now that I'm up to 29 people, I think it's probably time to start using that sort by name. Uh, we got Rock on here, right? Yeah, okay. So let's get Theodore on there. Theodore is building up. See, because it takes so long to load the list now, it's just it's just gonna get worse. Oh damn, I'm starving. Like me as a person, like IRL, kind of hungry. It's really hot right here. Where's that heat coming from? Oh. Hmm. I wonder if we should insulate this. Oh god. The whole room is actually getting pretty hot. 
and oxygen. What is this? Is this yeah, just containing oxygen from this this whole setup here. Uh, let's go ahead and wall it off. I, I had it set up initially because I wanted to um, let the air kind of freely flow, but I have a feeling that we're we're past that point now. We'll just leave a crack in it, and that's it. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I mean, they're not gonna care about the heat. This this is probably be a death of a colony in the next patch, but ah, look, they are getting through the water fairly quickly now. All right, so um, let's go ahead and lock this because they'll go find they'll find air somewhere else. Don't close while you're in there. 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 Son of a bitch! <laughs> Comedy. What was that? He just like stops for a second and then, like realizes he's trapped and then he drops it. Open the door. Good. Okay, I get out. Okay, now close the door. Close the door before you go in there. Close the door before you go in there. Thank you, Zimmy. Alright, so they can pick up water from everywhere else. Literally anywhere else in the map will give them water right now. So let's not let's not give any ideas. Well, these gravestones just ready to go, man. Just ready. I haven't used them in a long time. Pretty impressed. I'm pretty impressed with myself. Uh, but yeah, the, the house, the whole place is getting really, really hot. So we're going to need to get some kind of air cooling situation going on here. Like get one of these pumps and just uh, start pumping it through some uh, some coolers, some off-site coolers. How's this room doing? Oh, man. Ice. 29 degrees. Beautiful. That's with them running in and out, too. That's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Man. Let's check our reports. <clears throat> Daily report says... We are uh, calorie generation. We're consuming calories, of course, a net of negative. Oh, wait, uh, about yesterday. Um, beautiful. Wow. That's great. And we're still doing okay. We still have room, room to grow. Building these extra extra floors in here was actually a really good idea. It totally worked out. Uh, is it getting too old in here? No, no, it's fine. It's totally fine. Uh, is Vern on? Vern is on uh, sweep duty, right? I mean, a lot of people should be on sweep duty, but just want to check. God, sort by name. <laughs> Can we have to do this now? <laughs> yeah, he's on sweep and harvest. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> and I have air going in. This is obviously the lowest priority ever. What are these guys calling? Going in to get water. Ah, they're fetching water. Hey, you know what? This keeps them busy. So this is actually quite good. It keeps them busy. Eventually, they have to come down here and get water too, which is totally fine. Keep them busy. Idle hands, uh, breed, uh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Had a bush moment there. Let's see, uh, Stuggins. Get on the bench. Sort by, uh, scroll, Stuggins. And then, uh, Vern's fine, Magic is fine. Honestly, like, I don't really need to put anybody on the benches, but might as well just, just keep them going. Put magic on, anyways. How long do we have the next one? Oh god, very soon. Holy crap, this is this episode's going super fast. Jesus. Come on, next production, next production, next production. Here we go, here we go. Do, do, do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Come on, hurry up! Just like sitting here watching you go, because they're fetching. Well, everyone's fetching water, so it's like it's not even like a rush right now. Uh, do I have regular mush bar? And then, well, I guess I have no actual mush bars made, so it doesn't show up on the list. Kind of a smart system. If you don't have it, then you don't see it. All right, do I got a cook here? Yes, I have a uh, kind of cook. Minus five. Oh wow, this is actually not bad. I mean, decent amount of cook. Just plus thirty percent cook speed. Pierre! Pierre, you are now Rexe! Just like that. Bam. In! Rex! Shepherd. Perfect. Alright, let's go ahead and make sure that he does nothing but cook, and hopefully that'll put him on the on the spot there. Everyone else could deliver the goods for him. Um, Rex, 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 Rex. There we go. Oh, I was looking for RE. Duh. Uh, <laughs> cook. Cook and build now. Just cook. That's all it is. Just cook. It's funny how they're not prioritizing this because they prioritize uh, getting food higher. We need to we need to get this done though, guys. Let's make it a six. Let's see how we're doing on top here. 
Yeah, like this. They're not gonna do anything else because they're so focused on doing, uh, on fetching water for the, uh, for the food. Which I get. Oh, wow. Yeah, they really aren't doing anything else. Alright, so we'll just... Come on. Pee me. Good. They, they stopped working on everything. We must get water. We must get water. And the thing is, you can't take them off of, you know, fetch water duty. <laughs> this is not possible. See? Just basically make it six and they'll do that. There we go. So we leave it as a small crack. Uh, and hopefully we can cool off this room just just naturally. Just let it... Oh god, even the bed. Like a 300 degree seat. Woo! That's a warm butt. Oh, uh, there you go. Okay, and door closes. Get out. Good. Ready to go. Don't make food right now. Go to sleep. Beautiful. 30 people. Guys, we're up to 30 people. The, the, the Grand Massacre is coming. We still have, like, what, five days, six days until the patch, unless they push it back. So, we still have a long time to go here. Uh, power is already out. <clears throat> I think we need another battery, set of battery packs. I think that's what we need, and we could build it right here. Right here off to the side, and it won't have any impact on anything down here. Uh, the construction might have an impact on this, which means we should, if we were going to do it, we should probably do it now. Um, let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's start it. And we'll just extend it out to... God, I want to get all that algae. We'll just do this. And then we'll fill the room. We'll make it even with this. And then this one here. And then we'll put... Insulated tile here. And I have to prioritize this, of course, because they're too busy fetching water. <laughs> That's just the best thing. Motorcycle flying by. There we go. And then I guess I should put the batteries in, so I didn't even need to tell them to dig. Batteries. <clears throat> batteries. Should be a nice even... Oh, well, it's going to be bigger than that, so... Let's see. Let's see what this like. looks like. Mmm, damn it. Nope, need to move over one more. Damn, so close. Or, or wait. Mm. Maybe we don't. Maybe we build a double wall insulation on this side, too. That might be the smart thing to do. But it's not even. <laughs> it's like, that might be the smart thing to do. But it's not even, so I don't know. It kind of hurts. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get this in here. Good. And then we'll just draw. Bam. This is going to upset the balance. Like, if, if when we start working on this, we need basically all hands on deck because this is totally going to upset the entire flow of everything here. And I think what we should probably do, uh, just for the time being, is is just put a uh, put a door on both sides. That way, while they're in here working, they're gonna uh, they'll be able to keep their bullshit contained, and then we'll kill the door and replace it with insulated blocks. That sounds like a plan. That sounds like a super plan. Nine, get that shit done. Nine's a bit extreme. I'll be honest. Uh, eight. <laughs> I don't want them to half ass it. So there we go. Oh, maybe we should P8 the, uh, the cable, too. But yeah, they're gonna bring all their body heat in here, and it's gonna suck. God damn it. All these hang-ups. Three. Yeah, they're bringing all their nasty in. As long as they stay up there, they're probably fine. Heat rises, heat rises, heat rises. <clears throat> Let's see. Vern should probably clean this up, too, bud. 176,000 kilocalories, 177, we're good, we're good, we're good. There's gonna be a loss though, I feel like eventually these things are, it's full of, you know, refrigerated food, but, um, yeah, it's probably still going to go stale at some point, or it will go stale at some point. Perfect, yeah, and the doors are closed. Good, 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 keep all their bullshit together. Oh god, is somebody stuck in the door? Okay. <laughs> That's what was stuck in the damn door. You idiots, you idiots. Yeah, now we have another set of, uh, oh wow, empowered, right? Night, uh, night worker. Impassioned by the night, yep. Impassioned by the night. Do we have any snores in here? No, we don't. Good. Everyone back to work! 26% stress. Let's go ahead and see if we can hop on this thing. Uh, Q-Tech and Rex. Q-Tech? Rex, you just got here, guy. Ah, damn it, I should have sorted it. <laughs> it's at the very bottom, isn't he? God damn it! <laughs> uh, look at him go! Look at him go! Yes! 
Don't bring your nastiness into this room, though. Don't bring your nastiness in here. I don't want it. Oh, I have to prioritize the, um, I forgot I need to prioritize the, uh... The harvest is fine, that's easy. The, but the sweep, they won't do it because, uh, the water is more important for the other food. So I'll make it a six. Damn it! <laughs> the, the frame hang-ups every once in a while. <laughs> it's, it's killer. Yeah, look, they're bringing the nasty. You can totally see it. Uh, keep working, keep working. See, they stay in the room. Keep all the crap in there. It's beautiful teamwork. I like it. It's sufficient resources for what? Cooking station. That's fine. The, the lights are flickering. We did add. We did add a bunch of power stuff over here. So maybe we should consider extending out both of these uh, uh, workout spaces. Right? Like, I mean, oh, there's also some carbon dioxide pulling right here. That's not cool. Um, <clears throat> uh, I mean, if we make that mesh, we'll just go through here and it'll get crushed. So I guess making that mesh is not that big of a deal. Let's see a mesh tile. That way, at least we don't have somebody, anybody sleeping in uh, in this nastiness. Well, in that particular nastiness. They're all sleeping in nastiness, but that that one type of nastiness I like to prevent. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Ah, uh, yeah. 320. 320. <sighs> Man. And we have a good amount of flow of food. We probably have way too much food going here. Let's see. Uh, removed. Oh, no, no, no. Well, it's still picking up. Or is it? Wow, I feel like this game's gonna, like, lock up. There's so much... There was, like, so much movement here. Especially with the numbers here on the right. I'm waiting for that balance. Added. They're adding, but... They're not cooking it up as quickly as possible, right? Because the power, power needs are so intense from this place. We definitely didn't make a very power efficient setup. Um, hey, let's do this because we're going to need power through the night. So let's go ahead and uh, enable the two generators here, two coal generators, because we have lots of coal. So uh, Actually, through the night, we're going to need a lot. So let's do this. Charge the batteries overnight. Good. This will get power going. This is uh, 800 each, so that's 3,200 watts, kilowatt hours, I guess, if that's how they're measuring it. This should be enough to power the batteries, charge the batteries overnight and keep everything else running. Yeah, adding that kitchen really, really didn't help. Um, but yeah, here we go. Yeah, so we're seeing, we're seeing some movement here. Those things, those four coal generators are pretty damn strong. They should run everything through the night and maybe put a charge on the battery here. Available. Yeah, it's burning through it a little bit, so it's not quite enough. So we need those four coal generators and the uh, and the bikes, then that'll do it right there. Yep, there it goes. Wow, the coal generators were just just barely enough. Four coal generators, just barely enough to very slowly kind of uh, keep everything going here. All right, let's see. We need more bikes. I mean, pedal power is just so good in the game right now. Let's see, lore. Lore's not doing too too hot. Sort by duplicate. We have 30. We made it to 30, guys. 30. Mr. Doomsday. Let's see. Mark. <coughs> Mark. And now the <laughs> Staying up, it's so funny. It's like a memory. It's a totally a memory leak of some sort, because it just it's happening every once in a while. Uh, let's see, White D, my artist. White D. We should probably put um, more art at basically everywhere else. We'll see. Ah, uh, good. This stuff's always done. Almost done. And we didn't actually take a hit on the crops. That's great. I think uh, it's looking like Vern might need a little bit of help. Oh, Papa Wappa's in there helping. Let's see if there's somebody else that's qualified to do harvesting. First, just want to turn off a bunch of people. Because I don't like I don't like extra bodies in my greenhouse. That is Vern. Vern's Vern's old and a bit curmudgeon, so we don't necessarily want to. Well, there's other people that are more qualified than him, but it's fine. We, we won't tell him that. Oh, actually, no, not really. Well, five. <laughs> eh. 
Uh, yeah, we'll get these guys. Those two guys can help him out. That's a lot. A lot for one man to handle. Battery's done. Is that containing heat? Hell no, it's not. You can see it bleeding out. Okay, good. So this is done. Uh, we can start building the, uh, the insulated tile. Now, five bucks says someone gets, someone gets stuck in there. It's gonna happen. Oh, actually, no, we can't even do that yet. We need to actually uh, sweep this up. But yes, five bucks says someone's gonna get stuck in there. Just, just the way, it's the way of the world. Oh god, they don't have anywhere to put it because there's not enough, uh, places to put things. <laughs> so let's do this. Let's make this a nine. We're gonna make a bunch of things at nine for the moment here just to get, um, some storage containers and chill all over the place. Just get those things set up. That way they have a place to put all that stuff. So they'll get on that pretty quickly, I think. <clears throat> See, I don't know where they're gonna put it. Some of the stuff they have, they have a home for, but others they just absolutely do not. All right, next up is Ro Robinator. Hmm, it sounds like a name I've heard before. <laughs> Romanataro. On this run, I think maybe we already have that, but uh, maybe not. Hard to keep track. Honestly, destructive. Wow, all these are actually not that great. A runner, a digger, construction, strength. I'm scared to get more hands. Yeah, let's take it. This works. Uh, let's see. Uh, Romanator. Whoops. Romanator. Romanataro. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, we still need to send out the bikes. The coal generators are now working overtime. Uh, let's go ahead and disable them. Because now they're they're pumping basic electricity into nothing. They don't stop because there's, you know... Coal doesn't stop burning because there's too much power in the circuit. So we need, we need to reserve some of that coal if we can. Or conserve some of that coal if we can. Now look at this. Swept. We're still good down here. And this is, uh, they're probably searching for water. There's still water there. Okay, good. Well, that's fine. If they're, hold, if they're hold, uh, held up on that for the time being. Uh, that's not totally good, actually. <laughs> We're not actually generating a whole lot of food right now. Come on. Come on, boys. Keep going. Keep going. 31. We have room for four more beds. We can support up to 35. It's incredible. Oh, they are all fetching water. They were taking forever to fetch it. That's why we need to centralize. That's why we need to do this. We need to move this stuff over. Man, next episode, if I remember, we can move all this stuff over. Because, God, look at the heat build up here. It's so hot in there. Yeah, we just get a better cycle. Right now, the cycle we have of doing it, it's all backed up. Look at that. It's just too backed up. So we need... Uh, we need move these... Uh, the way we leave these here, we put another pump in there. Um, which I think would be excessive. Or, like, or actually, no, redirect this pump to basically support itself and continue to cycle. And then as it condenses, that'll free up space, and then this one could drop, and we'll see. Yeah, I don't know how we'll do that. I need to be able to stop one from working while I'm maintaining the other one. Huh. We'll see. Still going, still chugging along. No restrooms built. What? Oh, that's popped up for like a brief moment here. Damn, we are going to need another... Uh, a bunch more restrooms, I'm sure. Like at any given time, there's gonna be someone taking a shit. Yep, pretty much. All right, let's see who's who's the most stressed out. Uh, na 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 na. Squishy. Wait a minute, I just noticed something. Oh my god. We have finally done it, guys. We have finally done it. I didn't think it was gonna happen, uh, especially before the end of this series. Well, that was before the the day got moved back. But um, yeah, it finally happened. We have emptied this lake. We have actually emptied this this entire lake. Uh, where has it gone? Is it all in the pipes? Like we we moved. Oh, it's already. I forgot we had a reservoir down here that we were filling. Oh God, how full is it? <gasps> nice. No, that's good. Wow, that's perfect. Great. We should continue moving more stuff down there. Uh, I didn't realize there was so much space. I feel like some of it was actually lost in transit, huh? Who'd have thunk? Um, but yeah, that's excellent. Wow. Bunch of pipes here that we don't need. We can just drop those, I think. Oh, no, let's not do that. It's X, and then we'll just tell it to liquid pipes. There we go. Like this. And even like this one. We can just gonna kill that, get those resources back. You think we're ever gonna have a bathroom set up again? Probably not. Let's go and kill this. Kill all these pipes so we'll get some water out of it. There we go. Why are they all bitching? 
They have food. There's a lot of ex excess squeaking. <laughs> it's typically how you tell if they're happy or not, the, the, the amount of squeaking they do. I have a feng shui in this room here. God, it's like garbage. These 10 watt lights, are they really worth it though? <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go and set this thing up. Uh, all, and then all, and then all, and then all. Okay, yeah, good. Now we can get this stuff swept up. That would place to put it. They should jump all over it. Yep. Just like that. Still somehow maintaining temperature in here. It's beautiful. Uh, let's go ahead and make this a K6 sweep. Guy, it's been like a couple episodes since I've had to actually prioritize things because everything was so balanced. That's how you know, right? Like that things are relatively balanced. It's like... How many, how many, how much uh, are you prioritizing certain things? Let's see, who's, uh, Theodore is the most stressed of all of them. Scroll down to Theodore. Guys, this, this colony is going to get so big, I'm going to need a search field for this. Uh, and then Rex and Vern is fine. Rex, uh, that's probably it for now. Rex is already on it though, isn't he? Nope, he's not. Now he is. He just got here. Already complaining. Ah, good. The room is done. 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 Finished. Let's see. Da, 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 da. And then let's go do a nine. And let's hopefully hope, hope, hope that nobody locks himself in. Because they are dumb. They will do that. Or they'll just go to sleep. Whatever. That'll finish tomorrow. Um, we're gonna lower the priority on the- well, god, I don't want to lower the priority on the food. Let's take a look at the report here before we get cut off. Uh, let's see. Ugh. We have... We have a net of calorie. We're positive. So, that's good. Uh, lots of travel time, especially compared to, like, days ago. Like, let's see, we have 15,000 seconds of travel time. If we go back to before we did the food, uh, you see it slowly dip down and this should drop probably dramatically. Yep, there it is. Well, okay, I don't know what happened on that day, but there you go. Um, travel time. We should see a drop even more. Oh, wow, maybe not. We have so many people running around getting food and whatnot. No, uh, maybe not. Huh. Well. God, man, we're, we're so, we're so deep in this. This is insane. Uh, let's see. Skill increase. No, not worried about the idle time. No idle times. Everyone's busy. And oxygen generation is obviously low. It's going to continue to be low, which is fine. Uh, power usage. So we have a net. Uh, that's I mean, our batteries are all full. They'll last through the night. Uh, we're going to basically extend out this whole area here. We'll extend it out and add. Maybe we'll double the width here and then uh, cut out here. That'll give us an opportunity to get some more slime and, and go from there. How much actual slime organics do we have? In, in, uh, we have no algae, uh, but a fair amount of slime. And we could continue farming up that slime. Um, and then converting it into algae with uh, these guys, which are all set to like what priority one. So yeah, let's go and actually up that to P six. Oh god, the power draw is gonna be amazing. God. Okay, how about this? <laughs> and by amazing, I mean amazing, terrible. Uh, all right. So things to do. And this is note note to self. Things to do. We need to uh, extend out this right the the, the workout area. Fix the wall. Um, once we get the workout area extended out, we can turn on the distilleries again because otherwise it's going to drain all the batteries and kill them. And overnight, we're going to lose all of our power draw. Uh, and then we need to move all of these or basically create another refrigeration system on this side, just basically out of the way. Maybe enclose it in uh, or close this whole thing possibly in um, uh, insulation and then cool the air that way. Uh, that way we can get a better uh, flow on water supply. We have plenty of water to deal with. The water up here is probably pretty much done. Uh, is it? Oh, yeah, it's, it's gone. We can disable that. Good, we save power. Uh, maybe we can think about possibly moving it up here or maybe even down here, but that's it. Lots of stuff to do. Lots of stuff to do. We have plenty of days left. We could take this thing all the way up to 400, I think, fairly easily. And then beyond, we'll see. But until then, thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike BAK Phony. This is Oxygen Not Included Adventures, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you.